Hello everyone, my name is Zero555 and today I'm back with something a uh, tad bit different. Uh, as you might or might have not known, there was a Kaizo level design contest held by MegaDragon777 a while ago. As a matter of fact, it ended. Uh, the, deadline was, the deadline was the 13th of August. And as it appears, I am a judge for that contest, so being this, having this function, I guess, uh, I have to play through the levels, obviously, and uh, review them, but also record them. So this is what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be recording a level that I beat. This is, this is the first one that I beat out of the six that were submitted. And it is uh, Hallowed, the, the name of the level is Hallowed Spike Spam. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, try and beat this on camera. And, like, provide a little bit of commentary as we go. This is not going to be a review. Uh, the review is gonna, I'm gonna do the review separately. Uh, rise it down and, all, and polish it and all that stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna play through the level and uh, discuss some things here and there. So, right off the bat, as you might expect from a Kaizo level, it does try to kill you immediately. And it does try to do that quite frequently uh, throughout the level. So there's also a Kaizo block that I dodged that's like down there uh, at the Maverick. If you wait too long, you actually hit the Kaizo block and die. Uh, this part right here actually has a bit of cheese. I think this is the intended method, how I did it right now. But you could also optionally do it uh, by jumping up and kind of retrieving the shell yourself. Yeah, if you just uh, drop the coop uh, down, you can just kind of retrieve the shell uh, that way. So this right here is sort of a Kaizo pit. Um, and this is, again, this is probably, like, th these kinds of, uh, really tight, tight hallways with spikes are probably the hardest thing in this level, uh, if we don't count the very end, which is also, uh, quite nasty. So if I show you the unintended method now, you can just kind of do this and drop the Koopa down. And then you can just use it to get up here and, uh, I don't know, a, a, an alternative strategy or cheese, either of the two. I just gotta make sure that I align myself properly here. And that part is pretty nasty. You can also clip here if you want to. I don't, though. So, yeah, that could have been blocked off. Anyway... Wander, take heed, only the big may pass. Are thou big? A chamber ahead is frozen. Uh, so this kind of prepares you for one of the rooms, like right before the midpoint, which has ice physics. I actually died to that room once because I, uh, <laughs> I forgot about ice. I forgot that ice was a thing. But anyway, you have this kind of vertical section and this physic, uh, this physic, yeah. This room right here has ice physics. But that's pretty much it. You, you then have the checkpoint, you get it, and that's it. Wander, take heed. Have patience when leaving this place. Or THS place, I guess. <laughs> A little typo there. So this, this obstacle right here... Oh, wait. Oh, wow, it's actually... I see. I never actually figured that because I never got past this... Uh, big. So it's actually moved lower. Th this is quite uh, quite another uh, sort of tight obstacle. Oh wow, I, s I somehow took damage, go figure. Then you have this block, which has precisely five Kaizo blocks around, or uh, four Kaizo blocks around it. And you go on a little escort mission. <clears throat> Or not really an escort mission, it's just... Gotta feed Baby Yosh. 
and also you can cheese this because I do believe the intended method is for you to go through these sort of Kaizo pit setups but you can just jump over them so I'm not exactly sure and there's also some cheese here you can just zip through if you don't do that if you do it the intended way there's actually a Kaizo block on the jump uh, on the Yoshi ditch jump or wh where you would ditch Yoshi yeah this is a uh, this is one of the tougher little parts of this level but it's not too bad you just gotta time your input well and then it should work out for you just fine you also don't have to hit all of those blocks. It's just something I like to do. Okay, so I don't think I actually scrolled the Goomba. Yeah, I didn't scroll the Goomba on properly. So I have to actually get it now. So yeah, the intended, or at least what I think the intended way of doing this would be here is to jump off and and kind of just make it over so there are also two kaiser blocks on this twomp jump that i just did uh but i funnily enough i never hit any of those when i first played this level then you gotta align yourself properly here and then bam bullet from behind again this is the ending this is the hardest part of the level because uh, there is a Kaizo Trap at the end of all this. And what is a Kaizo Trap, you may ask? A Kaizo Trap is also known, can also be referred to as a post-goal death. So right here, you have to perform a jump. And then you have to land on the very edge of the terrain on the opposite side. In order to not touch the goal. Because if you touch the goal while the P-Switch is active, you will fall into a pit and die. So let's see if I can even get the yump. I got it first try, but I also died. So uh, yeah, as you can see, there's coins over there. So if you just bust in full momentum, you're gonna you're gonna collide with the goal, and you will die. If you get the goal at that point, you will die. But anyway, this is pretty much the entirety of the level now. It's just a matter. It's just a matter of getting that final part. I think on my on my first time playing, I died. I died to that ending twice. But the first time I got there, I didn't even make the jump on... I didn't even make it to the P-Switch, so yeah. Then I failed the jump one time, and then the third time I actually made it. Which might have been a little bit of a f fluke, since that one, uh, that, that little trick there is quite difficult oh okay I went a bit too early on the clip there but yeah that, that's this is pretty much it. it shouldn't take too long for me to actually get that final part done as well uh, so this level in general is not too difficult especially with all the unintended strats that are uh, executable. Yeah, because you do have to account that you can stand on the side of spikes in SMBX and be totally fine. Yeah, so I just dodged those Kaiser blocks again. Even when I didn't know they were there, I I don't know, they just kind of... They're just not in a spot where you would kind of hit them, I don't know. Okay, attempt number two. Didn't get the ump. So yeah, that's one thing that anyone who's wants to design Kaizo or is like thinking about designing Kaizo should consider uh, putting frame-perfect tricks in your level because 
the yump is a frame perfect trick. Uh, and putting frame perfect tricks in your levels is not always the best idea because it's uh, it's pretty hard to actually get consistent at a frame perfect trick. Uh, at least for me, anyway. Uh, because the yump, I don't know, it, it's just something I'm not consistent at. I can perform it, but it's not, it's not my expertise, if I can say that. So, uh, I mean, in, in the context of this level, it's not too bad, because the, the segment itself before the trick is not too long. It's like really not that long and demanding either. So it doesn't like ruin the, the design all that much. Okay. And now you just want to align yourself like this. Wait for the P-switch timer to run out. And then just grab the goal. And GG. That's this level done. All right. So, this was it for this level. Quite a short video, I know, but we will, well, there's actually gonna be an even shorter one because uh, there's a level that's even shorter than this one. But anyway, and it's probably gonna be the next one I do also. But anyway, that's gonna do it for me for now. Uh, if you wanna, I mean, if you're curious about this kind of stuff, like, you know, Kaizo levels and such, make sure that you, like, uh, keep track of when the results get out, and if, if you're just curious about it, uh, I will uh, provide a link to the forum topic uh, of the contest to both, yeah, I'll, I'll provide the link to the forum topic in the description below, so you can go check it out. Uh, and yeah, that'll, that'll do it for me, from my side, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and have a nice day, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.